Hi everybody, this is Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. Today I'm going to present a full wig review of a Renee of Paris style. This is called Ray, R-A-E, in two trendy colors. These wigs were sent to me from Andrea at Wig Studio One for this review today. Be sure to go out to Wig Studio One to see all of the colors available on this style and be sure to use the code BEAUTIFULYOU for a 30% off discount. Also check out the private Facebook group by searching Wig Studio One Wigs and Topper Support Group. They're helping thousands of ladies find the right style and make the most of their wigs and toppers. Ray is a short little layered angled bob cut. Let's get into the first color. This is called Honeycomb Brown. It's described as being a medium golden brown with some amber gold underlining. And so what I am seeing here is more of a neutral kind of almost a chocolate brown that you're going to see around the face and on the top. Now as you move towards the back, that's where those brighter amber gold underlights come into play. And they're very profuse there in the back, kind of in the middle. So it almost appears as though this brown is just kind of sprinkled on back there. And then you have some brown at the nape. Very unique color, isn't it? You gotta like brown around the face to love this color though because you don't really see the blonde from straight forward. You really have to be looking at the side view or the back. Ray features a front piece here of about eight and a half inches. Now that's gonna stretch below my chin a tad, but because it is curly, it's probably gonna come down to about seven inches on most people. In the back, you're gonna see a seven inch crown layer and then a three inch nape layer. Now that crown layer does get a little bit of a mild beveling back there. And that three inch nape layer does seem to be long enough to cover up most hairlines and provide some nice coverage. Then this is where you see that stark angle coming down. It really comes off of a very high beveled back and tapers down into the longer front pieces. Ray has a temple to temple, lace front, and a left monofilament side part. The lace front on Ray is made from a thicker lace material and it is a bit shiny and the knots are medium to fine. Then you have your left hand monofilament side part but you can see through to the illusion of scalp and the features do lend a nice realistic touch to this bob. Ray has a lot of loose waves in it um, so they're not tightly coiled but they are heavily textured. You can see where they're really tapered at the ends, especially here at the front. This gives a nice feathery light appeal around the face. Ray only weighs 2.93 ounces, so it is a really nice lightweight style. If you're dividing the hair right there at the monofilament, it should divide out and around the face in a nice little contour. These sides do tend to stay out of the face based on the contour and the lightness of the fibers. They're not heavy enough to kind of spread in front of the face. A nice wispy light texture. We have a very fine dry denier to these fibers. The density on Ray is just average to light. And combined with these nice light fine fibers, it just gives the perfect lightweight, easy to wear appeal. So here's the Renee of Paris Ray in the color Melted Marshmallow. The Melted Marshmallow color is like a dark sandy blonde and then it kind of is highlighted and graduates into tips uh, that are almost pure white but a very light pale ash platinum. And all of that is on a medium brown root. So it's kind of an ombre color that's a longer root uh, than exposing the base color and then all of these whiter ashier tips. Overall, this is a neutral to ashy tone. Now the one in Melted Marshmallow seems to have a little more hair than the Honeycomb Brown that I just showed you. Therefore, I think I can get a little more volume on top. This style is very light on the permatease. 
Um, you're not going to find a whole lot of permatease, just enough to obscure wefting, maybe give you a slight amount of lift. So let's take out a sister style for comparison, a sister style from another brand. So I'm bringing out the Beltrest Tia Maria in the color Champagne with Apple Pie. Tia Maria is another short layered cut that's slightly angled. Very trendy with lots of beautiful curl to it. Tia Maria is supposed to have an eight inch front as opposed to an eight and a half inch front here on Ray. Although they hit me about the same place because they're curly. In the back, Tia Maria has a two inch nape as opposed to the three on Ray. I've noticed that Ray has more of a less of a wedge type effect in the back. Tia Maria has more of a full beveled wedge in the back that gives more fullness at the crown than you'll find on Ray. They both weigh about the same and cost about the same price point. They both have the same features in terms of lace front and a left hand monofilament side part. What you'll find is maybe a little more density on the Tia Maria that's going to lend to some more fully developed curls instead of the wispy tapered and textured curls of Ray they're just going to be a little softer, a little more fully developed on Tia Maria. inside look at the cap for Renee of Paris Ray. Lace front, temple to temple, seamlessly back into a left monofilament side part. The lace seems to be a little more coarse and scratchy and maybe a tad shiny there. You'll see a nice uh, velvet closed ear tab, a standard velvet nape, bra strap type adjusters. There's lots of wefting and lots of stretch on this style. Right out of the box, I had to use maximum adjustment to fit, fit a petite average circumference. Thanks for joining me today, everybody, for this Renee of Paris Ray review in two edgy colors, honeycomb brown and melted marshmallow. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.